Welcome back. Uh, today uh, we are solving uh, one of the programming challenges in the book Starting Out with Java and we are still in chapter 6 and the problem we are solving today is number 7 in chapter 6 and the problem is called Retail Item Class Modification um, and the problem is really simple. All we have to do is to create uh, setters and getters for a class uh, that is in the book uh, in this chapter so the class uh, that we have to modify is this class it's called retail item and uh, it it has a couple of fields uh, the first field is description uh, which describes what kind of item it is item number how many of it, how many uh, uh, numbers, the number of the items that is in stock and uh, the class has an inner class called cost data as a field and the class has a constructor which takes his description, item number and uh, wholesale and retail as an argument and um, it sets um, the description field and the item uh, the item number and it instantiates here uh, cost uh, the cost data class um, and it takes wholesale and retail and uh, here the class also has a, a method to string method which basically displays the description, the, num the item numbers, how many number of the items is in stock, and the whole wholesale and retail price of the item, and returns the string. Here, um, the class also has an inner class called the uh, cost data. The inner class has wholesale and retail, and a, a simple constructor which takes wholesale and retail as an argument and sets it to the to the to these fields so basically what they want us to do for this programming challenge is to create a a setter and getter for this inner class cost data um, so all we have to do is to copy this uh, uh, this classes uh, items and change a couple of things um, we have to paste it here and uh, we have to change it retail modification and <clears throat> and all we have to do is to create a a getter a setter and getter for this inner class which is called cost data so what you would do is, if you are using IntelliJ IDEA as an, as an ID, uh, all you have to do is uh, right click uh, inside the class, uh, inner class, and, and this uh, menu will come up and go to generate, then click uh, getter and setter, and uh, press shift, and press uh, arrow down to select uh, the wholesale and retail uh, fields to generate the setters and getters for it. Hit enter and the <coughs> the ID would uh, create it for you. It would create um, the setter um, and getters for the wholesale and the retail. All we have to do is to test uh, the methods that we created. So to test it we just um, we just we just create a main method and um, we say retail modification item new retail modification and this take is couple of arguments the first is the description of the item which would be candy bar the number of it we will say 1000 uh, the wholesale of the item will say 75 and we will say retail and um, 
the retail is one dollar and fifty cents <clears throat> so to test it uh, to test the methods that we created uh, all we have to do is to call uh, item and cost uh, the cost is a subclass of the retail modification as we saw it earlier that's why we have access to it through the item class item variable and then we will say um, before we change it let, let, let's print it something to the to the to the screen and we'll say item and um, we will run it uh, we will run the program I will see all the all the information uh, as you can see it's candy bar uh, the item number is 1000 um, the wholesale is 75 cents and the retail is one dollar and fifty cents so we have to test uh, the setters first uh, we have to change uh, these two numbers to the setters uh, method and to do that is to say item cost set retail and let, let's say um, it's 89 cents instead of 75 and let's say item cost uh, wholesale <coughs> no set wholesale and instead of 1.5 we'll say 199 and <coughs> we will print we will print it uh, on the screen the uh, the retail through uh, get uh, get retail and the way we do that is item cost get retail and we will print another another print line and we we'll say item cost get wholesale and um, you could let's let's first see the difference and uh, say item and uh, let's print a space between the two different results as you can see this is the results that we saw earlier and this is the this is the uh, the new results we change it to 89 cents and 199 so it's, it's really simple it's not it's not that difficult for this problem all you have to do is to create a setter and getter for the inner class um, of the retail item class and uh, and it's really simple thank you for watching and i'll see you next time